friends so today I'm going to be doing a um, review of the Centro Pneumatic air die grinder kit this is about $13 it came with uh, $3 or so worth of uh, grinding tips I've also got a rotary rasp file set that I may use I need to do some modifications down here as part of installing a trailer hitch which is a separate video that I'm finishing up today so um, Anyway, let's do it to it. Here's what is in the box. So there's instructions. Put that in there for recycling. Well, daily. Yeah, yeah. I don't think these are gonna do much. All right, so first things first, we need to put the fitting in. Um, let's make sure it works with what we've got. So what I'm doing here is making sure that will mesh with my existing fittings before I go to the trouble to install it. Need to tighten that and bear it back. All right, so first things first, we're gonna put some lubricant in here. Actually, we're gonna there we go. I wanted to get it primed first. I don't even have a clue what this is. I think it's uh, transmission fluid. figure out where the exhaust is. Oh, well, that's not very exciting. All right, well, let's go figure out why we don't have any air pressure. I don't see any kinks in the hose. Got 80 psi. All right, let me troubleshoot this, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so it is not the air hose. There's plenty of air, but there is something funky here, which is really irritating. I'm going to see if it's an adjustment. I'm actually going to read the damn manual for a minute. Warning, don't place in long hair. Ten pages of worthlessness. I was hoping not to need my free um, screwdriver quite so soon. <laughs> yep, so the valve was in too tight. So um, what I did is basically loosen this. This acts as a throttle. <laughs> So there must have been some junk in there or something. <laughs> so 
So if you have a problem, that's where to look. By the way, the screwdriver was free. All right, so it does come with a couple of little wrenches. And you can see here, they, they fit. It's not the most ergonomic thing, but it'll work to tighten the collet. Okay, so that's good. All right, so I've got my eye protection and respiratory protection on. Uh, this is mainly to keep crap out of my eyes because I'm going to be working on my back. Keep shit out of my hair. All right. So what we need to do is enlarge uh, a couple of holes here. Let's see. I gotta bring the, I was hoping not to bring this in quite yet. Uh-huh, yeah, okay. So what has to happen, and we gotta reposition this. Alright. So what's gonna happen is these are gonna go in from the side, which is all good and dandy. They're actually gonna come in from inside. So I gotta be able to get this bolt through here, and right now that ain't gonna happen. And that's gotta go through there. And again, right now that ain't gonna happen. So I need to enlarge this hole just a little bit. And to do that, I'm gonna use my die grinder. So I'm gonna put my face mask back on. Easier said than done when you're laying on your back. And let's see what this puppy can do. pretty impressive, even though the bit came out. Well, I'll dig that out in a second. That certainly fits, but that isn't quite ready. So I'm gonna make this bigger. Sure enough, the rasp is uh, not too bad for wear. All right, let me stop and put this thing back together. So I've got to enlarge this. I've got to make this about the size of a half dollar.
so there we go. So at this point we're done. I can get my pieces to go through here. And uh, let's see if that hole's big enough. Yep. So those are going to work just fine. One of the, um, the, this works really, really well. Just really well. So I've got a few more of these to do. They're not part of this video. Um, So, um, overall, I'd rate this thing a solid 9. The uh, collet seems to come loose a little bit, so make sure you tighten that. And it's possible to twist the wrenches off because they're really cheap die-cut wrenches. Um, the rasp set is probably a 6. It's a, yeah, never needs sharpening because they wear out. Um, I've worn probably 45% of this one down maybe 60 percent and i've only done one hole and i've got you know three more holes to do so you know big deal they're disposable um and uh i appreciate you watching please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel um and if you have any questions post them in the comments and i'll get back to them usually within a few days maybe a week sometimes a couple weeks um i do moderate my comments because some people can't behave themselves in public and uh, we want to keep it a friendly conversation. Um, so anyway, I do recommend it. And uh, if you use a 20% off coupon or a 25% off coupon, you can get it even cheaper. Thanks for watching.